What up everybody, it's your boy MC Spice Black Superman, Mr. Health and Wealth, and this week's message is serendipity. Now why serendipity? It actually comes from my good, good brother, Inky Johnson, one of the best motivational speakers out there. He has a podcast called Serendipity. And the reason why I say serendipity is because in the podcast, he mentions that a big misconception about people is when you first meet somebody, you actually assume that's who they've always been their entire life which is a huge misconception because who they are is based off the decisions and the results of those decisions and the journey and the lifestyle they've lived from the moment they were born all the way up until that age. Like right now, I'm actually gonna be 34 in about a week and a half. And if you understood one thing about me, that if you met me at age 13, you would see a quiet, shy, not very talkative. You know, all I did was just play sports and, and do my homework and watch video, uh, watch anime, right? That's all I did. I was not this loud, you know, uh, uh, charismatic, witty person, right? If you met me at 13, then you meet me at 18, right? And I'm starting to find myself. Like I graduated from high school. I go to college. I'm on a track team. You know, I joined a fraternity. And when I was in that fraternity, guess what they did? They put me out in front of everybody. So I had to learn to get out of that quiet shell and be more open, be more vocal, be frontline at step shows and things of that nature. So I had to turn into a totally different person. But guess what that problem was? Man, you couldn't tell me nothing. I thought I knew it all. I was about as arrogant as, as all get out now. I always felt that I was always cocky in some way. I just know how to release it. But when you said, hey, go be a track star. Hey, go be the face of Sigma. Hey, go out and recruit. Go out and do this. Go and do that. I had to get out of that shell. I was no longer this introvert. I was actually the extrovert that I was actually supposed to be. But I was as cocky as I'll get out. Then I turned 25 and I started to realize, I started to grow into my skin a little bit more. Started to read more books, grow into my mind, get into my career. Guess what? When I turned 27, my life completely changed. I had my first child. I had my son, Joshua, who you guys love and adore. And I had to completely change the way I looked at life, completely change the way I looked at, you know, not only just being a parent, but just being a man. Because now I got somebody that's consistently watching me and he just turned uh, seven a couple of days ago. So for seven years, this man has been watching me grow, has been watching me turn into the person I'm supposed to be. My mindset had to change. My words had to change. The way I speak life into him and speak life into people had to change. The way I walk, the way I talk, a lot of things had to shift in my life. And so now when you see me at 33, 34, you think I'm just this smart, you know, super motivational speaker, super healthy person. A lot of that is true, but guess what? That took a lot of mistakes happening in my past. That took a lot of bad judgment happening in my past. That took a lot of experiences happening in my past. That took being homeless at one point. That took being extremely broke at one point. That took losing your car at one point. That took failed after failed after failed relationship at one point. That took many different battles in my life with different people and different companies and different businesses. It took a lot of things in my life to turn me into the man I am today. I do not think that God is done building me. I don't think God has done forming me into the man that I need to be. But guess what? If you think that I'm just good whole package now, Trust me, not only do I got a lot of work to do, but if you'd have saw me 5, 10, 15 years ago, you were like, that's not the version of you that I remember from back then. You are a totally different person now. Why? Serendipity. Do not think because of the version who you see now is who I'm supposed to be. And that can happen to you as well. So if you ever looked at somebody who was like, man, you're smart, you're hardworking, you're humble, you're this, you're talented, you're all these things, guess what? Ask them who they were in high school. Ask them who they were five years ago. Ask them the type of life that they've been through and the different journeys they've been on. You'll see how they've grown into the person that they've grown into today. And if you haven't experienced a lot of life lessons, trust me, you will. If you haven't experienced a lot of setbacks, setbacks, guess what? You will. If you haven't experienced a lot of adversity, guess what? You will. And I guarantee you the person that you think is super smart, super talented, super strong will, all those things, guess what? They've probably been through the exact same thing that you've been through. And if you actually sit there and talk to them and listen to their journey, they'll probably help you get over your hurdles a lot faster than they learn to get over theirs. So I'm just telling you, you, when you first look at somebody, don't misconceive who they are now and say that, man, they've never been through anything or man, they've never first adversity or man, they're just a totally super strong, phenomenal person and that they were just born this way. That is completely not true. They went through a lot of the same trials and troubles that you went through. They just found a way to grow and mold from it and get better from it. And the plan is one day that when I write a book, when I speak in front of children again, or I start doing different online seminars, guess what? I can share my journey and my experiences with the younger generation so they don't have to deal with some of the adversity that I've faced in such a harsh way that I experienced it. Because you know my goal when I leave this earth, not only do I want to leave exhausted, but I want to leave in a better condition for my son, for my son's sons, and my son's 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 son, so they can bring up that cook's name and leave a positive legacy on this earth. So with that being said, I'm just hoping that you guys understand when you see somebody where they're at now, 
Ask them about when they were 13. Ask them about when they were 18. Ask them about when they were in their 20s. Ask them maybe if they're a little bit older, their 30s and their 40s, and see how their life and their journey has progressed over the years. Because I'm telling you, a lot of the adversity that you're gonna face in your life, if you're under 25 or if you're under 35, a lot of what, what they went through, I'm telling you, when you go through it in your life, they might be able to give you some tips on it. That's my message for this week. MC Inspires Black Superman. You guys make sure you go to my YouTube channel, like, subscribe, and hit the bell. And if you find value in this message, share, share, share. And I want to remind you, as I always do every now and then, in everything that you do, always leave with love because agape love is the greatest form of love. And that's when you see the best interest of somebody else and you choose to take action and you act on their behalf, all right? You guys take care. Have a great week. Take care.